The focus of the flooding has shifted north. In Dresden, in eastern Germany, local people formed human chains to hand sandbags down the line to protect their city. In Halle, too, there's been an intense effort to shore up barriers as the Zala River rose to its highest point in 400 years. After an anxious overnight wait, the effort seems to have paid off. The worst seems to be over. They put up a second dam in front of the first one yesterday, and now we are very hopeful. Further south in Bavaria, the waters are subsiding to leave mud and pain. Part of the difficulty here is that insurance costs are high in an area of rivers which often flood, though never in modern times this badly. You can't get insurance. You cannot insure your home in a floodplain. Those whose homes have been spared still face the difficulty of moving about in an area which is often underwater. In Bratislava, in Slovakia, the waters of a complex of rivers, including the Danube, rose to the highest level in living memory. People found they couldn't get home. Fast-flowing rivers mean barges can't move. They can't cope with a torrent, and the bridges are now too low, so a swathe of commercial life is at a standstill. There are also political recriminations, with people asking why it's been so bad. In southern Germany, the leader of Bavaria said part of the problem was that landowners had resisted engineering schemes, which would have allowed floodwaters to escape safely. Stephen Evans, BBC News, Berlin.